Hey guys, what's going on? This is Steve from the 819S channel. I want to walk you around my bike today. So I ride a 2013 CRF250L. Uh, I bought it second hand, exactly as you see it now. I didn't make any modifications to it yet. Uh, some of the mods that are on it now are a uh, power box header. You can see here, uh, the dealer said it really improves the th throttle response of the bike and I compared it to another CRF250, the M, and the throttle response seems to be a little bit nicer. Uh, it's got a Yoshimura sticker on the back, but it's got a stock muffler on it. It's got a rack on the back and it has the Zeta handguards, which are really nice. It's one of the things that it drew me to it. It also has a ETC system on it. ETC stands for Electronic Toll Collection. Um, it's for using the highway in Japan. It makes it a lot easier. In fact, when I talk about customizations and things I want to do to the bike, that's one of the first things I want to change. I want to get rid of that. I don't think I need it. So as it stands now, I'm really happy with the bike. The rear suspension leaves a little bit to be desired, but I guess that's a very common problem with these bikes. Uh, the front suspension I haven't noticed any problems with, but I think if I change the rear suspension I might need to do something to the front suspension too. Uh, future mods, I want to get rid of the ETC box. I really don't need it, I'm not going to use it. Um, I want to change the rear shock, that's going to be the most expensive thing to do I think. Uh, I've looked, there's a $300, $600 or $1000 option. All of them are out of my price range at the moment. Um, the thing I'm going to do first, I think, though, is when I remove the ETC, I'm going to add a USB cable and a smartphone holder so that I can keep a map or GPS up all the time and keep my phone charging, use my phone as my map and GPS and keep it charging all the time. Uh, the second change I want to do is going to be a 13-tooth front sprocket and see how different it is. A lot of people online said it's a it's a totally different bike, especially off-road, if you have a 13-tooth sprocket on it. And then, if that's good, I want to also put a 42-tooth rear sprocket on. Um, that's going to make the speedometer quite different, so I'll need a Speedo DRD to repair that. But uh, I'll try the 13-tooth front at first, because I think it's an easy swap out, and I can see how it, how it goes. It's a probably $20 part, too. So really easy to do myself. Uh, so far I absolutely love the bike and Bambi's been happy riding on the back. So that's my bike. You guys have any questions, please let me know. And if you can, subscribe and like. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.